Yesterday was uh, Stuttering John's birthday. I want to wish him a happy birthday. Yeah. Mark that day. Yeah. Hey, John, how old are you anyway? Come on in and tell me how old you are. He made um, such a big deal about his birthday. Are you going to celebrate? Is he having a birthday party? I'm sure he is. <laughs> I wasn't invited. You're kidding. No. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know that he's having a party. Are you having a birthday party? Yeah, you're... I, I, tonight, at Stevie King's. The... <laughs> oh, tonight. Yeah, remember? But how can anyone from the show go if you... Oh, it's... Oh, it's... Oh, tonight's... For... Oh, that's right. You are. Yeah, I, I invited you. Oh, yeah. He well, you always know, has a party. I have my daughter tonight. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you couldn't come, but I, yeah. did, I did ask you to come. I asked Robin. How old are you now? 34. All right, so you know you're lying about your age, right? You don't, you're not fooling anyone. Why are you lying? Is he lying? Yeah. Why is he lying? <laughs> Why did you start doing that? Who told you I'm lying? Yeah, I know you're 36. No, that's what it says in the computer. No, time. that's what it says everywhere. We checked. <laughs> we knew I you were lying. That's what it says Why on your you birth certificate. Because I'm just goofing around. And just like, just no, you're not. Oh, it's like, here we go. Why are you lying? Because someone said to me, why would John possibly be lying I about his age? Shocked. And I came up with two theories. And maybe you'll be honest, and this will be a great bet. Okay. But the first theory I thought, yeah. and be honest okay. for once. Yeah. Don't try and hide your feelings. Okay. I think either... He's sort of embarrassed that he's still the guy who answers the telephones out there. Right. That's one. But I don't, I don't buy into that. I think that's it, no. Yeah, because yeah, if he was embarrassed by that, he would have left ten years ago. <laughs> I don't think you can embarrass him that way. Or he really thinks he has some sort of acting career going, and he wants these youthful parts where he's the guy who pees into the plants and all that kind of you stuff. You think? And so like, he's trying to still be young? Yeah, but why couldn't he be the 40-year-old guy who, you know, <laughs> goes to the bathroom? and the, the Yeah, right. <laughs> What? what <laughs> it's, it's really not. It's not that really big of a deal. Well, Are you, you? You shave two years off your your birthday. And when did he if I really wanted to change my age, shouldn't I change it to like twenty eight? No, no, because you, gotta we, be believable. you wouldn't have fooled us. Why yeah. this 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 young look of mine can pass twenty? <laughs> no, but you're famous. That means you would have started working here when you were thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> why do you? Why are you lying? The, Tell the truth. Howard, I don't lie to really anybody about it. It just, I, I yes, you did. You lied to me. I asked how you on the air the other day if you were thirty. Yeah, you, yeah. I asked you how old you were. But see, it's a, it's a, like an inside joke. I just always say, nah. You're not being honest. Are you, John? You know, like on Love Cruise when they hold up the BS paddle. That's BS. Why are you lying about your age? I'm really the the truth of the matter is is I you know I mean I, I did it as a goof. He's no. lying. He's no, he's lying. lying. You're not being dare. honest. Give him a dare. Something <laughs> happened. Like in your mind to say, hey, I need to shave you two years. You thought this out. What do you? It Scott really the, wasn't because uh, Scott the engineer has something. No, to say. I, I just there were, I found two places where his age is actually thirty six. Yeah, yeah. I mean, on his website, stutteringjohn.com, it says he's thirty six. <laughs> that, right. That's my point. I'm really not trying to hide it, but it was. I'm telling you how. You've been telling ask, everyone. Ask, ask everybody right now. I always say, well, you know. Really, I'm 36, but no, I tell him. No, 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 I, I no, say no. Hey, John, uh, two days ago, uh, I heard it was your birthday the next yeah, day. Yeah. I said, how old are you going to be? You said 34. And yeah. I said, wait a minute. You're that much younger than me? And you go, yeah. And I go, I could have sworn. You go, no, 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 no. I mean, there was no joke. It was no right. Yeah. There was no yeah, winking. See, that is the joke. And Gary, no. Gary, would, Gary was asking me for my driver's license. It was just goofing Gary said that on the air about six months ago. Yeah. yeah. About, well, well, are you I'm trying said, to do like the Jackie thing? Like we were always, hey, are you trying to get a shtick going? No, it was just, I, I like, you know what it was? You like 34. I mean, everybody, you know, wants to be younger, but I it, it, I wasn't really hiding it that that much. But I would just tell Gary that I was 34. No, and then just, it, no, no you wouldn't tell just me. You would tell just everyone. He was trying it no, out on No, I, ask anybody from me. I always know. I will. All right. All right. Yeah, so, heard... so, in other words, this isn't as interesting as I thought it was. No. Or, or you're not going to be really interesting. He's not being, honest, no. He's not being He's honest. He's not being honest. Okay. Ask anyone from Gandhi. How... Right. Then I'm done with. Then I'm done with the Gandhi, conversation. How... <laughs> John. John told me yesterday that he does lie, but he lies to Gary because it pisses Gary off. But he lies to me too. No, I didn't. I, he I told tell us everyone. Right here the other day that he was. I tell everyone I'm thirty. Gandhi, how old did I tell you I was? He, he told me he was thirty-six. See, I'm he not... lies about being thirty. Yeah. See, it's no big deal. But it's not the big thought it was. All right. Okay. Good. Okay. I'm right. done. Thank you. You're weird. <laughs> but you can't come tonight if you want. <laughs> Thank you. Well, he, was, he wanted to celebrate your 34th birthday. Yeah, I want. Yeah, I just think it's weird that you're going around lying about your. Uh... It doesn't even. It doesn't even irritate me. It's just and, it's weird. And, and it doesn't hurt to be younger. That's true too. Yeah. Well, it doesn't well, hurt to say. It really is. It doesn't hurt go. to say on the air that I'm younger. There you go. But that's true too. But it's. Well, who, who's judging you? But uh, well, you know, nobody. The directors but, I mean, and casting people. If you wanted people to think you were younger, wouldn't you, Listen, lose, Howard, wouldn't you lose a couple of pounds and try to look younger? When right. I got uh, a record deal at Atlantic, they told me to, to, to say I was like, you know, uh, two or three years younger than I was. Younger. <laughs> two or three years. <laughs> younger. <laughs> and I was 28 then, but they said I should say I'm 26. And they also uh, asked me not to talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, um, hey.
Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Who cares? Hey, now, what's happening, everybody? Give me a friggin' break. Oh, so cold outside. It's not even that cold outside. It's more, it's kind of colder in the building. It's, uh... <clears throat> it's freezing. Freezing in this building. It is kind of cold in there. Hey, Artie. What's up, man? What's up? I don't know. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I got plenty to talk about, I'm sure. Uh -huh. I just got to think about what it is. I have a bunch of things in my uh, briefcase I brought in for today's show. And, uh, oh, I mean, just a ton of things to talk about. What's up with you? Uh, you know, good weekend. Yeah? yeah a little fun, you know. Got laid? Uh, you know, maybe. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I saw a chick hung a curve over the plate. I might have swung. Oh, really? Is it the same chick I met? Ah, uh, you know, a chick hung a curve over the oh, plate. Oh dear! Oh, a new chick. No, I don't. Know. <laughs> what? I mean, no. It's just like you know, there's, there's broads hanging around. Right. What's up? <laughs> the, the big story I heard already was uh, Artie and the gang went over to play uh, cards with Stutter John. I know. I was there Friday night. Oh, you oh, were. You did go. I didn't play. I just stopped by because uh, John's poor wife sits there at the card game next to him and called my girlfriend and said, oh, a whole bunch of people are coming over at 11 o'clock and then we're going to go out and have a good time. John just sits there and plays cards. She wasn't going anywhere. No oh, people came by. Thing. And I just left. Of course. Yeah, oh, my God. It's, he's just so insensitive to her. It's, it's just remarkable. <laughs> and she buys it. Yeah. I'm sure this happens many, many times. And every time she believes the story. It's the saddest it's thing. It's going to be great. It never dawns on her to leave. No. Because she thinks something's going to happen. Yeah. John the saddest you went, thing. Out, you went out when you felt like it, right? Right. No. Listen, Artie was dealing blackjack. We were all making a lot of money off of Artie. <laughs> what the hell does that, that mean? So, you know. so you're, it's so pathetic. Your wife calls my girlfriend and goes, all the girls are getting together to go out. Because <laughs> she thought I was playing cards. And I said, well, I'm not playing cards. And then she said, come by at 11 because all the girls are coming over. And uh, we're all going out. All the girls. All the girls is what I, she was told. So uh, we go I, I over. I, you know what? You know what? You know, I'll, I'll be honest. Yeah, I, heard I guess Susanna heard it. it was all the girls. Howard, you better be quiet because she appears she said the wrong thing. John Michael Homer beat her. No, 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 no. She didn't say all the girls. John took the talent. The only other one who was supposed <laughs> to go out was uh, Maya, but she canceled. Right. You know, but I mean, and, and so she, she was know. told all the girls. Well, I don't know what that meant. So I went over thinking that these guys would all go out, but they were playing cards. And Susanna just sits by John's side waiting for that nighttime activity to happen. All right, now tell us. the saddest thing I ever saw. The reality. She finally gets out one night. And she got to sit and watch, <laughs> she gotta sit and watch John, John play cards with a bunch of guys. It's over. She got there late, though. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I, I, did. I know. She was waiting for 11 o'clock for the magic hour. And then, and, and, then, and then right as you got there, I think we left like five minutes after and, and, and went to the club. What club? Are you... <laughs> <laughs> Artie told us he had some pull at this place called Town. No, 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 no. I didn't have pull there. I, my friend told me there was a party there, and he said there was a list, so we went there. So Artie goes and gives his name in the list, and, and he's not on the list. So he goes, well, I'm Artie Lang from the <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't say that. And he goes, this is Stutter and John. Ay, ay, ay. I'm like, thanks, Artie. Is so did you get in there? No. Is it, they rejected you? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it didn't help that I still had my drink from the other bar. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, oh. and then we went to um, this other club. You, you Wait, is that place called Dow or Tau? I don't know. Tau with a T. Yeah. yeah, but the Dow is, has a T. pronounced Dow. Yeah. Oh, the Dow. No, it's Tau. I, I don't know. But everyone says Tau, and I feel like an idiot because they know the word is Dow. Right. And then we went to another club and, and got drunk somewhere. Where'd you go? Artie, do you remember the name of it? Uh, it was in a hotel, one of those hotel bars. Oh, the Hudson? Not the Hudson. It's by... Um, uh, the Brian, W? No, Brian Park. Yeah, yeah. The Brian Park, Park Hotel or something. Hotel. I don't know. Yeah. Like downstairs was a bar. <laughs> How many guys went? It was me, Artie, Susanna, and Jim Florentine. And, uh, right. Anybody else? But I had a couple of friends there. Yeah. There were chicks around. <laughs> I was told that uh, the big uh, controversy of the night was that when the bill came at the Friars Club, I know Scott DePace and even Artie were a little upset because they thought it was a lot of money. And Artie said that he had a steak that was like a piece of shoe leather. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was 80 bucks each for a whole night of drinking. I can't believe See, now, DePace told me something different. DePace told me he paid for a bunch of guys 
And then no, no, had to pay eighty bucks. No, because they ordered dinner. But I mean, what, what, what do they expect to get dinner for free? Yeah, they expect. Well, because when when uh, we play with Dominic, Dominic pays for the whole thing. Uh, they don't uh, understand when Dominic's yeah. not there. Uh, Bill well, has to come to somebody else. Oh, did they think it was a free night? I, you know, I guess they thought you were hosting this. I get the first complaints from you know the pace, which I'll never invite. Scott like, the, the engineer know. must have really freaked out. No, Scott the engineer, he, he, he won all the money. He's a big, really? he's a big winner the other night. Scott the engineer, won how all did that happen? And Scott, you didn't mind paying for uh, dinner? I didn't, I didn't mind paying, but it was expensive. I had three beers and a, a ham sandwich, cost me eighty bucks. Well, yeah. you were paying for John's drinking. <laughs> John, 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 Audie was drinking shots all night, yeah. and, and John was drinking. Oh, Audie was drinking. So basically, you pay for John and Audie's drinking, yeah. and you're sitting there going, hey, you're trying to be a little bit frugal and say, I'm not going to drink all this. Right. Well, I finally what bought something. All, what about all those aces I was dealing with? They cost a little money. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Well, wait a minute. You know, that's the price of uh, winning their money. You yeah. have to pay for their drink. <laughs> Let me tell you exactly. something. I, go so cr I was so glad I sat out that card game. <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you. I'll tell you why when I got do I, I have to take a break, right? I guess so. <laughs> well, all right, I'll just say this quick. I get in there. I, I went out to dinner. I uh -huh. had a perfectly lovely evening. Yeah. Grabbed my girlfriend. Went out to dinner at this joint called AZ. Had a great dinner. What kind of food? I, if I explain it to you, it wouldn't even make sense. It's called Pan-Asian food. Oh, that's good. You know that yeah, Pan Asian? Asian? Yeah. How do you know Pan Asian? I think there's a Pan Asian place up by where we live that my wife drags me to. There's a lot of Pan Asian. Oh, oh uh, Ben? <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I never heard of Pan Asian. I don't even know where that is, well, Pan Asian. You've been to Colonial. No. You haven't. No. Oh. Where's that? It's right here in Midtown. That's really? Is it good? Beautiful. Wonderful. Well, this joint Asian is real good. So I go there and uh, had a nice dinner. And then I said, uh, and then my girlfriend said to me that Susanna called and said, all the girls are getting together at 11 o'clock, and that's they're all that's going true. out. Okay, she, because cause my girlfriend's a liar. She, I heard Susanna say that it's her and Maya, was supposed to, and Maya was supposed to come. That was okay. Who are all the girls? I haven't met anyone. Who knows? She was trying to drum up Who the else girls? is there? She was trying to get girls there. So anyway, um, we went over, and of course... Almost like a Vietnamese wife. John sitting there at the table with the belly and the drinking and the eating and holding court and the wife dutifully behind him. Nothing be better than having your wife sit behind you while you play cards. And is, I mean, is she miserable? She was shuffling. Is she miserable? She's sitting there bored. I mean, you know, she's with the uh, Sultan of Stutter. And, uh, hey, let me ask you a question. Why would, my, so, why when she gets bored, she gets to rub his back. Now, why would your wife be there instead of somewhere else? Like, what because does she need to do there? Uh, because she, was, she came at 11, like she three did. hours into the game, and then, and then we're going to go out uh, drinking afterwards. I mean, it was just like a plan. There was a plan in... Because in, 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 there wasn't enough drinking at the Friars Club. <laughs> <laughs> all I know is, so I... All I know is you were not out at 11. <clears throat> that that you just weren't. It was about midnight. I yeah, think. I guess maybe midnight. Yeah, so she's out there for a while. Wow. And John sits there. I don't know who else is. This. Scott, the, everybody looks miserable. <laughs> Doug, Scott. Well, we were all down money. Right. Everyone lost except for Salem. How much did you win? Two hundred. Wow! Look at you. Two hundred. I ended up up eighty bucks. Which I, which I spent eighty bucks. What, eighty you know bucks what? on dinner? On nothing. I didn't eat on a ham sandwich. Yeah. Did. Right. A ham sandwich with the fries. Did you try to say to them, "Listen, I didn't eat as much as you. I'll pay I less." I didn't say anything. I should have. They they just said. It was splitting it up. Here, this is what you owe, and I just threw it in. I mean, you know, but yeah, you're you miserable mooches. <laughs> I heard there was a big discussion where the, where John goes, don't, "Don't worry, I'll take care of it." Yeah, sure. And he talked them down to three dollars a beer. Like John can negotiate at the Friars Club. Oh my God! Did you, did, was there a? Uh, so I had three beers at you, nine bucks, and then a sandwich. How much is hold that? On, Fifteen you know, bucks. Did you tip your servant? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's one hundred fifty, you know, for the room. So I go. You know, I go to Mark there. You know, the guy runs. I go. I'm, I, 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 I can't afford the hundred fifty dollars. He goes. All right, I'll waive that. So then he goes. It's five dollars a beer. I go. How about a dollar beer? He goes. Four. A dollar. I go three. Beer. He goes. Sold. How many had the evening? He tells the guy he can't pay for the room. Wow. Would you ever in a million years go to a restaurant and negotiate price on a drink? You're John? amazing. See, I knew they would be complaining. And then the e guys were trying to expense everything. It was like major paperwork. The guy had to do. Oh yeah, yeah. John, you sure you aren't Jewish or something? A bunch of high rollers. 
the funniest thing is that John says to me, yeah, uh, uh, Scott, Scott, Scott the engineer is coming. Yeah. And he says, uh, the reason he's coming is because he overheard me. Yeah, I wasn't even going to invite Scott, but he happened to be there when I was telling the pace. Wow. I'm like, I'll go. I'll go, all right. Scott the engineer won, and he invited himself. Scott the engineer loves to play cards. He's allowed to. That's one of the few of things he's allowed out of the house. Yeah, his wife lets him out. Well, first of all, yeah. how you, you got to invite about, him. You talk about those games. When I got there, uh, Cecil beat the pace in there. Was, was playing like one of those crazy. It was so complicated when I was oh. sitting down. It was, like, oh. I mean, like, one of those wild. crazy games where everything's wild. Yeah, so I just, spade and yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I just, I just like the pace game. I was so glad not to be a part of this insanity. <laughs> you know? It's hard. Yeah, and and all, all we could play was five card stud the whole night because we all, we had eight guys. Yeah. We would have run out of cards. Yeah, so I just, I just couldn't take it. So I, I saw it was a big crowded table. It was a little table with too many guys to around table. it. There was nothing relaxing about it. Everyone was hiding their cards from each other because everyone could see each other's hands. John and was telling me how great this was going to be. Oh, yeah. it, it, oh it wasn't it great? <laughs> it was fun. They had a good time. Drunk. I just don't have a good time. But when you got there, we were just playing blackjack. Audie was the dealer. And Audie lost, like, his, his, his shorts. No. No, he didn't. Chris, you're on the air. No, he was up 400. Yeah, hello? Howard. Yeah. Tell Stutter and John to shut up and get off the air. He needs to be answering the phones. Every time I call, nobody ever answers the phone. Yeah, he's busy. He's a personality. Uh, yeah, right. Nobody cares about you, Stutter and Retard. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hey, thing, how are, yeah. yeah. My grandmother died. Can I use one of Gary's teeth as a headstone? Yes. <laughs> we're going we're, we're to give that to you today. All right, listen. i got to take a break. We'll be back right after these words. There's lots going on. Later this week, uh, we'll be drinking and broadcasting from the MTV Awards. I've been out all weekend sampling different alcoholic drinks, trying to decide what I'd be drinking. You're doing research. We're just getting I am. Shape. <laughs> yeah. Uh, preparing for Thursday night. Yeah, I'm going to be a mess. I was drinking last night ginger martinis to see how I like those. Dick! That's no, they're good. Huh? Uh, you know, it's delicious. Oh, ginger delicious. martinis. Fabulous. Anything to kill the taste of that body. Right. Anything to make a martini better. What's What's weird about the ginger martini is I won't be drinking it because I've decided that Jackie actually is correct when it comes to alcohol and what alcohol that? abuse. That it, when you drink uh, like a real sweet drink, it's hard to drink a lot because your mouth gets kind of dry. For me, it gets kind of dry. So I am going to be drinking not cranberry juice and vodka. I'm going to be drinking grapefruit juice and vodka. Ew. Oh, yeah. You can get that down. Oh yeah, that's delish. Oh, Love that. I hate grapefruit juice. Not when there's vodka in it. Yeah. <laughs> and also, what I might Never be doing is grapefruit juice, club soda, and vodka because well, look the, at you. the club soda is going to keep it's going to keep me wet. Right. Club soda though doesn't have that. Doesn't that have a lot of sodium? Yeah. What What would you say? Would that accelerate the alcohol with the bubbles? No. No? What? I don't know about that. Does that accelerate the alcohol? I've heard all kinds what, of things. What? 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 Everybody has all kinds of theories. <laughs> bubbles accelerate the alcohol? It, out. it makes it a, a yeah. much more refreshing drink. So what? Yeah. I couldn't hear you. What? It makes it much more refreshing to have club soda. It's thinner. So that wouldn't get you drunk faster. Uh, Fred might be right. The bubbles might help. Oh. I think it does. Yeah. Sure if Jackie, citrus helps. If Jackie says it, it's true. <laughs> citrus helps. Yeah. <laughs> he races the booze to your system. Oh, I see. He knows. You can he really does. Go you know, look it up, Ed. You Jackie know. really knows about drinking. You, you can't argue with him. Reduction, I know booze. I guess. <laughs> I'll talk press reductions while you're. It's your area. This is my area. Butt stuff. That's you. There you go. Jackie's starting to look like Rudy from Survivor because he's growing this weird beard. He won't shave, is what it is. He's no. lazy. And I saw him over the weekend. I like I said to everyone, I mean, he had like the ba the bad tight bathing suit on, and he was walking around with his wrinkly skin. And I, and I was looking at him, and I went, "Hey, there's Rudy from Survivor." Not a little bathing suit, like yeah. Chunks, but well, when it when it gets wet, it, it, his whole wiener. I saw his wiener this weekend. I, I tr and I tried to yell out to him. I said, "Jackie, you pull down your bathing suit." And I just realized if I get started. Oh, you mean it got stuck up? Yeah, I figured if I said something, then he just like ragging on me, and I didn't want to get started. Everybody gets a little treat. Oh, it's mm -hmm. <laughs> that what you call it? And Jackie's like Survivor because he, he had a big shovel and he was digging a hole in the sand to start a fire. And well, just where he lives, he had yeah. to be a survivor. And he had wet wood. And we had a great fire. If you'd stay around someplace for two minutes, you could. Oh, He's please! A fire. I wasn't staying at that party. It was all the way to the to Long Island. Stays five minutes. I gotta go. No, gotta first go. of all, joke man, go. you got there three hours after I got there. 
That's because you get there at nine in the morning. Unlike yeah, but I got he's kids. The traffic. I got little kids. I don't live there. And the rain. Here's what happened. I'm going to tell you the whole story. Stuttering John decides to have a party Saturday. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Stuttering John decides to have a party Saturday at his house, and he calls. You know, he, before I was leaving on Friday, he says to me, "Hey." Come to the party, bring your kids. Have a little get-together. A little get-together. And I know John doesn't have a lot of money. He can't put out a big spread or anything, but I decided to come in from the city because I, I had my two older girls uh, Thursday night because we took Friday off. Mm -hmm. And I had them, let's see, yeah. I had my older girls Friday night. Mm -hmm. Took them to Aida, the play. <gasps> did, you, uh, did you love it? Yeah, it was great. We had a great time. I'm so glad you got to see that. <laughs> and I took the two older girls backstage to meet Adam Pascal, the lead guy. Who's a great guy. Who oh, they're like in love with. Yeah. Because well, they saw him in Rent. They got good taste. He yeah. was the original Roger, yes. Yeah, so they like real hot for him. So Excellent. I'm glad you got to see And that. the dude was real good to me because he's like, man, I've been a big fan and that makes me look good. So <laughs> Yeah, you know, he actually, one of his dreams in life has been to be able to make it on this show. Really? Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> Wish I had known that. <laughs> so yeah, I went back and I hung with Adam Pascal and my daughters. I looked like a hero. And then the black chick who's the lead chick, we hung with her a little Heather bit. Heather Headley. Heather Headley. And then the blonde with the big boobs, we hung out with her for oh, a little God, while. Her name. Yeah. She was good. She was real Everybody good. Everybody was really good in that. Yeah, they're real pros. Man, they sing. Yeah, so we we did that, you know. My kids dug that. I took them to the Red Eye Grill, which is a great restaurant. Hung out there, ate sushi. Everybody wants sushi. <laughs> Sushi's the hot thing. Sushi's the thing, honey. You know, for a while, nobody wanted the Japanese. Now everything is Japanese. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, that was a cool play. Saw that play over there. You know, caught that over there. <laughs> over there. Went over to the Red Eye Grill. Ate over there. Ate over here. Yeah. Had some fish. <laughs> then I went to... Uh, I go back to my apartment afterwards and go to sleep because I got to get up the next day. And my kids stay up to like 4 or 5 in the morning. Just being on AOL and ragging on people. <laughs> they didn't so even go out. How do they get up? I woke their ass out of bed at like, <laughs> I don't know, 11 o'clock. And I oh, said, come so on. Still well, I had to go to Long Island and pick up Ashley and take her out to John's party at the beach. But now you see why they can stay up till 4. They're not planning to get up. I know. And they sleep all day. And they look like vampires because they, their skin is pale. Uh, they never That's get the any They lay in bed. And they lay in bed till 3 o'clock in the afternoon sometimes. And I go, don't you want to get out and enjoy the day and see the sun? And they go, no, none of our friends do that. We all with the sun. Yeah, we all go out at night. And I go, I don't, I don't somehow think it's right. I, said, I even said to Allison. I said, I think they should be in bed earlier. I don't like it. Look at you being a dad. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't know why I don't like it. I just think it's wrong. Because it's like my mother going, you should start your day. With the sun. Yeah, you should, no, you should start your day. It's never with the sun. It says, you should start your day. There are things to do, and you have to do them. What is she doing that she's starting? Chores. She should be sleeping. Right. Yeah, I know. She should. <laughs> yeah, let's go. We're vital. Because my mother goes, when is there bedtime? When it, I go, I don't yeah, know. There's a regimentation that should be in order. I, say, I go to sleep. I, I said to them, I close their doors and go to bed. They don't go to bed. What's the big deal? They get good grades in school. They're yeah. not slacking off. What's the big deal? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. There's some deal. I'm not sure what it is, though. I mean, if a child has a problem, maybe you need to step in. I don't bust their balls. So then They seem to be handling it. Yeah. So then, you know, I'm doing the, the juggling act with the kids because i got to keep that going. So I go out to Long Island. Yeah. I pick up <laughs> Ashley and her friend, Nikki, who's the next Britney Spears. <laughs> and Ashley's the choreographer. I think that's so yeah. cute. Yeah. Ashley's seven and Nikki's seven and... I got in my car and I drove them to uh, Stuttering John's house for a beach party. Uh huh. Couldn't think of anything better. To do. No. Well, you know what? At least it's a beach. <laughs> it's and you know something? I got to agree with Jackie on this because Jackie was saying, you know, that Bayville where those two idiots live. <laughs> it really is kind of like a well kept secret because <clears throat> everybody's scrambling to go to the Hamptons and this and that. That thing has got the water. It's got the beach. Granted, it's a beach full of rocks. Yeah, I mean, it's not the prettiest beach. It's yeah. not the prettiest beach. It's not the prettiest beach, but you got, you know, you got a whole beach scene going, and it's private, and it's a great deal. Not too many people. I love it. I love it too. Yeah. So I was but happy you know, to be my invited. My problem is that 
John and Jackie are there. Yeah, well, let me tell you about John and Jackie. Unfortunately, you weren't there. Let me tell you about let me tell you about John's party. So anyway, I love this. I I got I got to just rag on you a little bit. So I was thrilled to be invited, but I'm smart. I know when, when John throws a party, he called it for 1 o'clock. He said, yeah. people are going to start coming at 1 o'clock. So I got there about quarter to 1, 12.30. I was the first one there. Of course. Because nobody afraid. ever comes on time. They're always afraid you're going to be there two hours early and they got to entertain you. Yeah, but they don't have to do anything. Cause I just wanted to... Who's, I, I don't know who said people. that? I don't know. I don't know. He always has some problem. <laughs> I wanted to go down on the beach with my daughters. Right. You know, my daughter and the other kid. And I was in a great mood because they were singing Britney Spears in sync and all the words. And I'm thinking, this is very wholesome. I'm being a dad. I'm driving them. Sounds like a long ride. And it was fun. It was actually fun. Nikki could sing every Britney Spears yeah. song with every choreographed move. In I the was, car, she's choreographed. Yeah. She said hand movements. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, my goodness. She's like, Howard, you know this song? You know this song? And, and she just used the hands? Everything. <laughs> the kid is the next Britney Spears. I'm telling you, I'm Get signing ready. her. Get ready. Get <clears> ready. <throat> should see this kid. <laughs> well, so. what are you doing? You're just driving her. I know. <laughs> you should get her out on the road. I'm her driver. Start hitting the mall. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway, so we get to John's house. And I'm smart. I packed myself a sandwich. You bring your own you know, it's food. So yeah. Well, I figured Allison would feed the kids, and I'm going to have my own sandwich because I know John. There's never any food. There's always really? food. Really? You've been to his parties right. before. But it turns out, you know how kids are. Allison offered the kids food. They didn't want to eat at that point. Oh, dear. So we go over to John's house, and right away, you know, the kids are playing, and I walk in, and John is stuffing his face with something. <laughs> with sausage and pepper here. Yeah, right. Sausage and pepper here. But it's not for everyone. It's just his sausage oh, and pepper here. Wait, I offered it to right. you, too. Wait, no. I no. Can't. No. I don't eat sausage. <laughs> so anyway, I pull out, I pull out a sandwich. <laughs> From your and, little bag. Yeah, and John's like, what do you got a sandwich for? I go, because I know you. <laughs> I know you, and I know, your, I know your family. And I know how you throw a party. I like to eat. I want to eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> well, the chapter of mythology. So I, I know, ate. I know. It's no mythology. So Wait, I'll tell you everything party. that happened. Okay, let the me finish. The party hadn't started, though, had it? No, it hadn't. I know no, that. So I ate my it. sandwich. Yeah, I ate my sandwich. Thank God. We go to, wait, it, like I'm the only one, I'm the only one to complain. No, there was one other Look, person. Jackie, the, we've been I know who's complaining. Too, who is complaining? Maya. Maya, Scott Einziger, yeah. lots of people. Yeah, Robin, right. now granted I had five pounds of cooked well, food. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to tell you about that. All right. I'm not, All right. Let me hear because I can't get a word obviously out. obviously have another perception of your party. Yeah, nobody's, nobody's let me talk. I'm trying to tell you what I saw. I'm just telling you the way I saw it. He was there. He experienced it. <laughs> I like Robin's opinion because she wasn't there. I well, she didn't have offer an opinion. opinion. So I walk out and John goes, it, it, "It's going to be great. I got all this food." Because what'd you bring a sandwich? I got, I, I got food. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm, the kids start screaming. They're hungry yeah. at about one o'clock, one thirty, when John called the party. That's, that's when you invite people at one o'clock. That's lunch to me. Put the food out. Right. <laughs> so we go out on the beach. And for the kids, there was a can of cheese doodles. <laughs> what? And John goes, e e eat, eat, eat the shrimp. Eat shri he has this shrimp that's been laying in the sun. Oh, God. But well, listen to this. Now, have you ever tried to get full on shrimp? No. All right. Mm -hmm. It's little shrimps. You could eat 50 of them. And Even Scott Einziger said to me, you could eat 50 of these shrimp. Oh, wait, it's a sandwich. Yeah. Yeah, it, so he keeps uh, eating eat shrimp. So all there is is this shrimp that's been laying in the sun, which I ate because I had to. It was like Survivor. It was like eating rice. <laughs> and cheese doodles. Mm -hmm. Some woman there pulled out some fried bread that she had made no, at home. She had um, uh, quiche. That was no quiche, dude. It was quiche. No. No. <laughs> Everybody turned it down. Oh, right. <laughs> that bad. Yeah. Oh, she's a great cook. So anyway. <laughs> so wait a second. So John keeps screaming, we're going to be making a fire. We're building a fire. What is the fire? Uh, and, and wait, wait, wait. How about we're the mozzarella sticks? I, I, I haven't heard that. Oh, much. come on. All right, so, all right. What kind of food is that? I ain't defending those. You go to the oh, that's, deli. That's definitely picnic food. Yeah. The kids really love those. Robin, we, I, I started cooking at 3.30. Wait, 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 wait. You started cooking. Hold it a second. <laughs> so I'm there now. I left the party at 4 o'clock. Still no food. Wow. All right. And the idea is, they're, they're talking the whole time. I got tons of food, tons of food. 
Where's the food? Hamburgers and hot dogs. They're waiting for Jackie. Jackie's bringing over wooden sticks. <laughs> so people can hold their own hot dog over this fire that the doesn't exist. Rose. So <laughs> Jackie is the, is the only guy who's even... They wait for Jackie. Right. Jackie's the whole party. And you know how Jackie is. Right. Jackie shows up in his ratty bathing suit with his sticks <laughs> for the big barbecue. And I'm saying, okay, that'll be fun. The kids will grow. But when is this going to all happen? So now they have to right. build a fire? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There's no barbecue or anything. They're going to make a barbecue pit on the beach. All right. So then they got to dig a hole. So John has a shovel. Uh -huh. We go walking. John puts the shovel over his shoulder, big metal shovel. Oh, I forgot about yeah. this jerk. John stops short, hits Jackie in the head with the shovel. <laughs> He turns around to apologize and whacks me in the elbow. The yeah, it was the three stooges with the shovel. And guess which one you were. My at? elbow was aching all night. <laughs> I mean, let, I lay down in bed that night. I was aching. I knew this was gonna happen. Aching. He's yelling aching. at us. Well, you, you, you guys. Yeah, because Jackie, yeah, you, you guys. Jackie caused it to happen. Cause he, no, he didn't. No, he Robert. banged his head into no, the shovel, started Robert. yelling. Robert turned around to see Hold what on. happened. And he had his shovel. Open. He's behind. You're behind him. Right. No, he, and he, I'm in front of him. He's yeah. got the shovel on his shoulder. <laughs> and he turns around and whacks me. So and it's Jackie's fault from behind. Because <laughs> right. Jackie started complaining. It's oh. your fault. No, what he was doing. Well, he got rear-ended. <laughs> I walked into it with my nose. Yeah, he was drunk. Oh. And he walked so into then it. Jackie... Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> and Jackie... John two and ja and the, now I'm happy because at least Jackie's going to dig a hole. Uh -huh. Nancy, his wife's not there. Evidently, Jackie was late to the party because him and his wife play Scrabble together every morning. <laughs> yeah, this was the word I got. This is the truth. They had a Scrabble hey, game. the Scrabble game? No. <laughs> the average person comes to a 1 o'clock party at 3 o'clock. I got Why? at 1.30. Why? If a party is called for 1 o'clock, why don't you come at 1? No, I, no, I met you. You tell me 1 o'clock. I come because it's a beach party. Before you left, I said, what time is the party? No, no, you're really right. Yes, and why would I come at 3 o'clock? I'm there to enjoy the sunshine. Yeah, the By 3 o'clock, yeah, it's all over. Of course. No, you're supposed to be there at 1. Right. Yeah. Jackie, you you're wrong. At 11 to catch no the sun. Jackie, you get to be at the beach every get, day. I don't. Yes, yeah, so get there whenever you want. It's not on me. No, I'm but not saying sticks. it's on you. How am sticks. I supposed to know that my <laughs> stupid hot dog skewers are carrying the, <laughs> oh, the weight of John's party? So wait, John sits himself. John sits himself down in a chair <laughs> with a belly like you never saw, <laughs> right next to these beers, Drunk which is the whole up. thing for him. And he's next Where, to the cooler. What are the beers there's a cooler. A cooler. That they had a cooler. He has the beer, <laughs> and, I sh and I'm waiting for somebody to dig this hole. I don't want to go there and dig a hole. You Jackie, a Jackie finally showed up to dig the hole. John goes, d d d dig the hole. Uh, Jackie. So John just John, John's part. So at least Jackie's doing something. Wait, you know, I, just don't I dug know the hole. I went and fetched the wood. <laughs> wait, wait. So Jackie di starts digging a hole. I was very into it. Then he goes and fetches wood, and he brings back this wet wood, and when he lets go of the wood, all over Jackie's belly is like wood stains and black, insects. like coal and insects, like all over his body, and he doesn't care. It's like, he's because like... he is surviving. Yeah, he's thrilled. He's rooting, and he looks like... Two seconds later, you totally Are you going to get to his fish net? He looks like... Oh, yeah, and then, then the two seconds later, it is Survivor, because you see Jackie, all of a sudden, he's a big fish net, and he's like trying to catch fish. He catches these little minnows that he's going to put on hooks. Silver side, you catch bait, and then you catch Oh, you snappers. catch the bait. And I said, I know, jo I know Jackie's M.O. He gets his fishing rod. He gets the bait. I said, he'll stand there for five minutes so everyone can see him fishing. And then he stops. He yeah. Five minutes later, sure enough, he gave up. <laughs> that is true. Because I was next to him. Yeah. Oh, and I, I said to John, Jackie's not, Jackie just likes people to see him doing things. Here's anybody, anybody right. who knows anything about Long Island knows if you throw out anybody. your line and you don't get a bite from a snapper right away, they're not there. So you wait a half hour and do it again. Uh -huh. <laughs> so anyway. It just what? sounds stupid. That's Somebody told me later on when they had this fire going, ja someone caught a fish that was maybe two inches uh -huh. and threw it back in. Shit. And Jackie goes, Shit, threw it back. Shit, yeah. He goes, why did you throw that fish away? He says, I would have barbecued it with the head and everything and eaten it, bitten off its head and, and eaten the whole thing. I was two inch fish? I was lying yeah. I thought I was going to bite the head off and he was all upset. He threw it back because he wanted to see me bite the head off. <laughs> so Jackie, so I, I see wet wood. I see hot dog skewers. <laughs> and what are these hot dog skewers? Are they just plain these big old? rods? Nobody will start the fire. The beautiful long. The pieces of they're stick like a toothpick, but long. And nobody could find them. Jackie was the only one who had them. Yeah. Long like his nose. Right. <laughs> what you're supposed to do is have a grill. 
and put the hot dogs on it. Not everyone sit there. Fire, you moron. No, okay, what? all right, fine. <laughs> what are you talking about? You put down a you put down a metal grill over the pit, and then you, you can cook you can't hot dogs. Get close enough to a fire. All right, whatever. You have to have a long. Yeah, I want to sit there with a stick on the beach. Did they have a one thirty? What do you know? So there's no food. It's already 3.34. There's no food. You didn't have a fire. How'd you cook? There's no fire. I said, this is ridiculous. The kids have been screaming since 1 o'clock. They want to eat. I said, I got to get them home. And so I had to leave. Nobody told me you kids were hungry. The, the, they, kids, the kids, were having, kids were screaming they're hungry. They were you were sitting right there. They're hungry, they're hungry, they're hungry. The they want to eat. Yeah, yeah, they didn't even want to leave. Didn't the kids. Go. They didn't want to go. How Ball was pouring out. It, it was, <laughs> the kids were having a... I thought, <laughs> my kids had a great time. Yeah, so what's the... Uh, no what's problem. Like, I had to leave. I had to go feed them. I took them home and fed them. Oh, you're such a liar. Okay, I'm a liar. You told me they had to be home at four. The whole... Even when you got there, you said... Because I saw the situation. I needed an out. Jesus. He always prepares. You are amazing. Asa. <laughs> and, and then uh, Anne Marie showed up. She didn't get into a bathing suit. No, that was a disappointment. Yeah, and what is that about? Everybody was in a bathing suit. She never I was does. in a bathing suit. She knows you're all waiting to look at her. Yeah, but she's got a, such a big deal. Did she about swim it. at all? No, I don't think so. And and then she didn't get into a bikini. Like she I know. She doesn't even wear a bikini top. No, it's, it's always a letdown. Yeah, so I just I left. I was disgusted. <laughs> But you I was all excited food. when Anne Marie showed up because she was going to be in a bathing suit. There was so and much. John told me that she was going to be in a bathing suit. Yeah, she suit. told now me. Now you're going to hear reports about the food. There was so much food. I'm sure. Yeah, because nobody eats that stuff. Yeah, now you can talk no, about the food. No, we had steaks and cooked shrimp. The crap lays and out in the sun for hours, then they decide to cook it. I, I'm glad Howard, to see that John is keeping in the tradition of bathing. The food was so Howard, good. Howard, <laughs> last question. The last part of you at, didn't I have those grill guys you were eating? John, you invite people from 1 o'clock, have the food ready. Uh, honestly, so people when, when people like, come to my house, house you usually three. around three o'clock is when you start. When people come to my house, yeah, there's food immediately. When was when that? you invite yeah, them for that's lunch? That's not always true. Come on, Jackie. The last I time had we you came out. To your house, we came for dinner, and you were out to dinner, and we got, you, got, you got to your own party an hour late, and we were there starving, and you were. What was this? The last time we came to your apartment. What was that? Oh, no, no, no. I called it for 7 o'clock, and that you was for dessert. That was for dessert. Nobody told us. We all came hungry. Right, sure. You're a liar. Oh, oh. it was in the end. It was dessert. You need to exaggerate a story. Sorry. <laughs> That was for dessert. You never said a word. We thought it, we all came. This guy, John, I had him out to shelter John, island. I fed his ass. Here, John, I fed no, his no, fat no. ass the whole John. time. I fed him. No, he's forgetting that. He's going all the way back to the Oscar party. Yeah, listen, he, to he, he, listen to this. John. Listen to this. Listen to this. He forgets I fed his fat ass out there the oh, whole time. Did. And then for dinner, I take him out to dinner. I didn't see him reach into the wallet. <laughs> He's my guest. I took him out to dinner. I bought Gelman a drink. Yeah. <laughs> You sure oh, did. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you. John, tell Howard. No, no. Yeah. You are the world's worst host. We, also. At John's house, I'm a bad host. Jackie, it's now, your hold own on. house. We had the great food, food doesn't come until 10 o'clock at the night. Last time and Nancy always stands there. I'm making a salad. I'm making a salad. The whole night making a salad. Well, when are we going to get the salad? The salad now. she'll never make because she's drinking. We have to stand there and watch her make a salad for five hours. Can I have some question? food. She brings out the salad in the dark yeah. so you the, can't see it. The last time I had a party, you remember I had the grill guys there? Yeah. yeah. Grill guys? You made fine then, right? You mean Doug Goodstein? No, I, I hired three guys cooking the whole time. Oh, yeah. that. that was good. So this time I, I just thought we'd cook at three. So anyway, it, it was not three. I left at four. The food was, it was no fire even built yet. Yes, it, was. it was just was wet on. wood. No, You're lying. No, no, the barbecue was on. I, right, I went whatever. back at All 3.30 right. to cook. Liar. Jackie, tell him the truth. It, it was about five. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was not. <laughs> All right, so anyway, so that was the party at John's. I was a little late getting the fire started. Right? It's like the Beverly Hillbillies. I said, you know what I said to someone? It's like the Beverly Hillbillies out there. <laughs> Anytime you go you, out there, I can't you'll believe always have You turn day. around and Jackie's dragging a big wet box with wood and <laughs> you were like, that he stole from you somebody's house. Think you were so thankful, Howard. How can you what? change your whole I story? I said, you wouldn't think there was civilization. <laughs> no, yeah, it's, a, it's just like, you know, <laughs> what is this? You were so thankful. Robin, he was like, John, I'm thrilled. Hey, I want to go out again. This kid out. was having a blast. He I drank. know that. He wouldn't even get off the boat. The you got to go out and hunt for food. When you go. They were hungry. They wanted to eat. You're That's all I'm criticizing. The, be the, the beach part is fine. That's the part you don't have anything to do with. <laughs> the beach is there. I yeah. I the kids had fun because they were in the water. I didn't have a jet ski there. I was taking people for rides with. I didn't have a boat there. For yes, that's fine. <laughs> you got other people to show up with their toys. <laughs> 
And Jackie got was late with the barbecue stick. And he says they like Buddha. <laughs> with the beer. Jackie said he'd be there to cook the hot dogs with right. the be an appetizer. And, and, ja and Jackie's Speedy Gonzalez, let me tell you. No hurry, got that yeah. beer. He, he was going to relax. It was Jackie's day. And if he got hungry, he could go home to his house and get something to eat. That's right. That's I, all. Big breakfast. They, they, I, originally, I think they wanted Jackie to drag that lobster pot over. No, that was the last part. Yeah. So anyway, that was that was uh, over Jackie's John's. Jackie's always got to bring something. Hmm. <laughs> that, that that was the Beverly Hillbilly and serving. We wound up cooking with those skewers. It was great. Mm -hmm. Marshmallows. Nobody saw good. it. Oh, yeah. did you see Jeff Shake's up uh, rockets at all? Jeff Schick from IBM had rockets that he set up on the beach. Wait a minute, beach. you mean he's now doing the Like fireworks? real rockets, though, no, not rockets. Like fireworks. They were landing rockets? on John's name. Like Mr. Out. Science rockets that you oh, shoot up in the air and they come down with a parachute. parachute. <laughs> and he goes and collects them? Yeah. yeah. Oh my and one of them wasn't going off, and he walked over and looked down. And, you know those things you hear about every yeah. fourth of the line? Why didn't it go they off? They hit you in the head. The yeah, they go off, off in your face. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, got, I got as far away from that action as I could. <laughs> what is it with people in the beach? They got to light things. I know. <laughs> Howard, you know the funniest thing. Somebody said, Jeff, where'd you get those rockets? He says, oh, we made them. Said, How, how'd you make them? He says, you know, with the SG L370 kit. And we all look at each other like, yeah, everybody knows with the SG yeah. L370. Oh well, Jeff's a geek, you know. He's, a, such, a he's such a geek. You forget. <laughs> we had the SG-37 gun. Oh, yeah. yeah. When we were, we were going through know. that catalog, that's the one we were Oh, sure. Yeah. You don't even see catalogs with rockets in them. But, but John, you're always like, hey, uh, where's the food? Is it, the, the party's going to be great, but, but not yet. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta see. I said, he, he gives you blue balls. You it's almost I great. To you got to strategically plan the... But uh, you did bring your sandwich, so you were Yeah, I was fine. Really yeah, the kids starved. I didn't. <laughs> they never said they were hungry. No, that, that they were complaining. They were going to say it to you. I, I they were screaming to, any, they were screaming to anyone the they could find that they were hungry. I started the barbecue. Uh, That's all right, John. Faster. Hey, anyway, so, all right, it's enough. We're going to move on now. All right, good. We heard about your barbecue. <laughs> that grill can't go on before a certain time. Mm. <laughs> I have a Ganji story for you. Boy, is he fat. I know. Listen to this. Ganji, get a drink. Ganji filled a huge plate full of sausage and pepper hero. Yeah. With all the crap. And it's sitting on his plate, and he held the sandwich and the sausage and pepper with his hand and tilted the plate and poured out all the juice onto the deck. I oh, I was sitting geez. there. I couldn't believe it. Why? I said, what? Because he's a slob. He said, no, I poured it into the crack between the boards. I said, uh, Jesus Christ. Why would he do that? I, I, I couldn't get an answer out of him. I said, every animal in the world's going to be under yeah, this deck. Yeah, yeah. He's mm. like, what's the big deal, dude? Oh. Big fat bastard. Uh, yeah. It was great. It's not his beef. He, he really is. Fat. It's he not got, like he was even trying to hide it. Just right he is so he's fat. more than me. <laughs> yeah, he's fatter than you. That's <laughs> a race. From the back, he's <laughs> fat. But does problem? he get undressed when he goes? Yeah, he, yeah. he showed up in big Hulk shorts. And and his <laughs> back is all mowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So listen to this. You know how Ganji has like, the world's hairiest yeah. back? Freshly mowed. Well, <laughs> Jackie <laughs> says to him, Ganji, your back, it's no hair. And I said, let me see that. He turns around. I go, who did that for you? He goes, I did it myself. I go, how do you shave your back hair by yourself? He goes, I take the razor, you know, the electric razor. And I go, but how do you reach? Yeah, does he put it in a rope? He goes, my arms hurt so much from doing it. Oh, where is he? <laughs> he can't even reach to why can he get every part of his back? You got to see it. Yeah, yeah, are there patches? Is it uneven? No, it looked good. It's really good green. at it. <laughs> it was clean. His back looks like Oh, look at him. Big Momo, we learned. Let me see your back. Show Robin your my, back. My back right now is a little, a little. It's growing in. Oh, oh you're sorry. Good. Yeah, you're it again. For sure. Oh, take off your shirt. <laughs> Wait till you see this. This is great. He is fat. Oh God, he does. Ah, Look, there's no hair. Goodness. <laughs> it, it's it's really hard to do. You looked really fat on the beach. <laughs> Did I? No, yeah. I thought I actually looked pretty good because I have a tan going on. I was using it as a lamb walk. Well, well the, the air, air the, the, the air adds ten pounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People think with a the tan they look thinner. <laughs> I think I look a little thinner with a oh. tan. Oh. I, was I was I like no, really really brown. gross fat or just like what? I'm a little, I, am I really really gross fat or am I a little? You look. Pretty, you're starting to look a little gross. Am I starting to go over that way? Yeah. I think it's time to like really mellow he's out. Maybe. Hair and he's gaining the weight. He's yeah, maybe the not. Maybe not so much sausage and yeah, peppers. I, I, it's it's the hero, you, poured, yeah. you poured stuff on the deck. What's the matter with you? Dude, there's a theory. Well, it was, there's a theory. No, I, did, I tried to pour it in the crack of the thing to, to go down you in see, the glass. He doesn't understand. There's Somebody's no house. Under a deck. Yeah, there is. No, there is dirt. Yeah. Oh, there's dirt. Yeah. Under there. It's dirt. It's pouring rain out. It washes away. 
It wasn't. Uh, it, was, it wasn't like I was. Uh, you were caught, is what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't see anything wrong. You know how it that. rains under the deck. <laughs> right, yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> that's why you put up a deck. Yeah, that's why there's, holes, there's, why there's holes in deck. That water doesn't get down there, you idiot. What is it? Yeah, I'm the idiot. <laughs> dude, I poured it in the crack. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's deck, dude. dude. Like it's, 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 why don't you just go pee on his carpet? Because that's inside. This is outside. Mm. Yeah, but it's and a deck. You have to know. What are you it's trying to catch? It washes like away. Bait. Why and why are you not eating the juice? <laughs> anyway. that, guy, that was a shock. You're watching my weight. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, you know, it's Jackie does the weirdest thing. Here's, now, here's the weirdest thing. Now, God knows what Jackie's been doing all day, right? Right. <laughs> and I'm eating right next to him. And, I have, and he and puts his fingers in my sandwich and pulls out a piece of sausage. <laughs> oh. In my, like, right in the middle. And you know he's been in the bathroom yeah, wiping. Like, I'm sure, like, or he's all day long. the insects from the wood. Who you missed uh, Jack and <laughs> Larvae. <laughs> like, right in my sandwich and pulls it out. But you didn't stop eating, did you? <laughs> no, you know what? And the funny he bit his finger. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it, but I was hungry. How was the food, Ganji? <laughs> I was trying to help you, Ganji. Uh, the f I, I thought the food was fine. It was hamburgers and fries. No, well, you got yeah. there at the right time. Uh, no, you know what? His wife was yelling at him. I was, I was really glad. John's <laughs> wife was yelling at him for like an thing. hour to, to start cooking. Oh, <laughs> please. I had a headache. Yeah. For food. Uh, I was guilted into cooking. <laughs> yeah. hey, uh, you John didn't cook a thing. He had strangers cooking. His wife my was yelling. Just John. my friend, strangers. That's not your friend. Hey, uh, how you should have seen Jackie water skiing at the end of the night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vacation. <laughs> Who's like this relic? Uh, <laughs> Dude, how do you... You, how do you shave the hair on your back I, with I, no help? Nobody helps you? Nobody helps me. Wow. Who would I have to help How me? do you Nobody. do it? Show me how you do I, it. I, do you I nail the razor to the wall? What? I take one of those little buzzers, the electric buzzers. Yeah. Right? And I just grab it by the bottom so, you know, I can get as much Oops. distance. And I just I just go over this way and oh. back You know, one day we way. have to have him do it. Yeah, you got to do it. Let the hair grow in and you got to do it on the air. You got to demo. Right. I'll, He's I'll Houdini. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. It's, it's really tough. <laughs> and you're ambidextrous. You use both hands, right? Yeah, For, uh, yeah you have to. <laughs> you gotta and he gets it even. That's very yeah. good. It's That's really tough. Good. My shoulders hurt after that. Like, I got to, like... That's your workout. Yeah, it's my workout. <laughs> That's <laughs> the only working. time he moves. No wonder you're eating <laughs> sausage. You earned it. You were working out. Sexy looks. <laughs> like sexy. Look how it helps. Well, you want to see his muscles, right? <laughs> right. You want to see the definition in his back. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a weightlifter. <laughs> Connect his balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so attractive. <laughs> I'm not so bad. Nah. Get an earring. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That'll help. Very inside. Very inside. <laughs> I, believe me, I'm not too far away from John. I mean, you saw him. Yeah, he's Wait, fat. You passed yeah, off. Yeah, oh, still, on. Gangy. John's weird. Like, John's kind of muscular all over, it's and then so he has this big down. belly, but yeah. the belly's, like, not loose. It's, like, tight. No, it's but, but it's dropping. Like, gravity yeah. is totally affecting him, and it's Look going down. Look who's talking, dude. <laughs> at least my gut, like, stays up. At least your gut. It, like, it, like, stays up. Your gut, like, it's like... Yeah, hey, show Robin your gut. You gotta see this. He's right. You gotta see John's gut. Wait. And don't suck it in. Don't suck it in. Don't suck it in. No, stand how you were on the beach. Uh, uh, <laughs> see, like, hangs over. Like, at least my head's up and just big. Sucking it in. <laughs> Let it go, John. <laughs> <laughs> you got a big belly. Breathe. What a parade. Oh, you have no idea. And these guys walk around like they're Adonis. They just keep their shirts on. I really don't care. Yeah. I mean, I'm a mess. At least I know it. <laughs> you look like a question mark. Huh? You don't look so bad. You just, um... I look like a question mark. <laughs> what? I'm just what? Yeah, but you, let you, like, uh, you slouch a little bit. Yeah, I'm very tired. I'm exhausted <laughs> from all of you. It's carrying the weight of the world. I always slouch. I'm tall. The piece, tall people is that slouch. No, no, is that because you hit your head a lot? Yeah, I don't know, but I want to be up straight. I just forget. I try. <laughs> he forgets. I do. I forget to straighten myself out. I wish you would remind me. Say, hey, Howard, you're slouching. Because that's one of the reasons when they catch you on the street, those pictures turn out so badly. I'm always slouched over. With the rounded shoulder. Like a money lender. <laughs> the OG. Yeah, but my physique didn't look so bad. No. Yeah. Well, it, it never has, really. No, I'm like 46, so I'm in pretty good shape for an old dude. See, you are aging well, and I think it's because you don't drink that much. Right. I think the alcohol is what ages, you know, guys like me and Jack. Right. So now I'm thinking, maybe I should stop drinking. Thanks to yeah. John, you're dieting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, uh, but I've been drinking lately. Well, now, but... But, but Jack, last... you know, you got a long way to catch up to them. They've been drinking all their lives. Right. So you're going to go with uh, martinis, then? <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. 
on the MTV Awards. Because, because I was practicing it on Friday night with Jackie. Practicing. And I had practicing. two martinis and I was okay. Right. But if I go to three or four, it's going to be it's going to be bad news. Right. All right. Can you put your shirt on? <laughs> I know, he's oh, like right he away. He doesn't even realize he's naked. No, he doesn't care. We do. <laughs> 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 All right, I got to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of phone calls to take too. You know what's funny? Harry, the, were you there when the big lightning bolt like hit the beach and everyone came? Yeah, running? I get. That's when I left. That's when I, <laughs> wow. So I was in the elements. John, you're on the air. Uh, yeah. Uh, I yeah. Uh, I I'm over here in Cleveland, and uh, one of my buddies in the medical school. He was uh, he was on duty last night or whatever. Um, Eminem came in, and uh, this isn't what he came in for. Apparently, he had, he came in for some STD or something that he got through uh, through anal. Get out <laughs> of here. Apparently, ah. that's, that's yeah, that's that's what the situation looked like. But uh, ah. I, <laughs> I how do you know too. it was? A, what does an STD mm. you get from that? <laughs> I, I'm not sure what, what the... Uh, Listen, what that's the a completely ludicrous uh, accusation. An STD is sexually transmitted disease. Right, well, he had what abrasions or something, and, and that's what uh, <laughs> had indicated that. Apparently, though, he has HIV. Oh. All right. Anything Listen, else? I'm not going to let you go on with this. This is a completely no, false I'm accusation. Here. No, my buddy's over oh, here. Okay, thank you. Buddy, buddy. Right. Let me just tell you something. We get about a million calls a day. Everybody's got everything, yeah. and everybody's gay. We get, we get, we we used to get calls. Uh, Harrison Ford had AIDS. Yeah. This one had AIDS. That Harrison one. Ford was gay. Everybody's yeah. gay. Yeah. So, trust me, Eminem don't have AIDS. He might have an STD, and I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the guy's got. We don't know anything about Eminem. Right. And people call up all the time trying to badmouth people. I don't want to put any credibility in that. My buddy. No, my We're buddy. <laughs> Debbie, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. Hey. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I absolutely love you, and I want to come down there and make you a water pipe because um, I won a contest from you for $1,000, and I want to move to Amsterdam with that money. And I already have a water pipe. Oh, do you? you well, how do you make can a water pipe? I make pipe? you another one? Jackie gave me a homemade okay, water pipe. I'll tell you how I make it. I use a Dremel kit. Uh, a drum? She's a drum kit. <laughs> yeah, what is it? How did you, are you still on the phone with this girl? No, I hung up. Oh, because she she calls every day. She wants to get naked for you. She she calls every day to do something else. Be a dog for you. She said she wants to get. Make, she make she make didn't say bomb. anything about that. She just wants to give me a water pipe. No, but I don't know why she started with that. But every time she calls, uh, she wants to be your slave. But you know, you know, it's weird. People tell you one thing, then they get on the air and they start talking about water pipes. Because they don't really mean it when they're talking to John. They're yeah. just trying to get on. No, she means it. she's oh, she's out of. No, who cares? Mm -hmm. Hey, Rick, you're on the air. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, this is Rick. Uh, my hair removal plan is four-pronged. It involves shears and flame from several angles. What I do is, when I'm done with these long scissors that I found in my father's uh, dental school kit, I'll uh, take the burners off the grill in my uh, oven in the kitchen, and you lean backwards, and you start like a brush fire all over your back. <laughs> They, you got to make sure the windows are open or it starts to smell like Treblinka in the apartment. Yeah. But I've got five windows, so, you know, if it's a nice windy day, you can get the stink out of there. Plus, if you light a good doobie, you know, you can eradicate so what are you telling me? You, you light yourself on fire to get rid of your back hair? Well, technically, it's not any part of your epidermis until it burns down to the follicle, and then you just kind of go, ooh, and it shakes out itself. Hmm. It, it's not excruciating by any means. It's Would you please email Ganji? <laughs> But did you get rid of the hair permanently, or do you no. have to do this regularly? Well, actually, uh, you know, uh, Memorial Day is a good starting point. Um, <laughs> then, you know, it's gonna you really got to touch up around uh, July 4th, and then, you know, you can polish before Labor Day weekend. Right, so you probably but, just fixed it up yourself recently. Well, we had so much rain this summer that I just let the back go like it was a Brazilian rainforest anyway. Right. All right, Rick, that's a good uh, tip. Just light yourself on fire and get rid of the hair in your body. And uh, bu and that's a true story. If you'd like, I'll come in and show you. And <laughs> yeah. uh, by the way, how you should, uh, if you're going to bend playing softball, you should turn your mitt down to the ground. So this guy is. Forget about it. All right, anyway, there's a guy who lights his hair on his back that's on what? fire. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back right after these words. 